Hello and welcome to Infinity. Dodging and burning is a very, very fundamental thing in terms of making a picture darker and lighter. The name comes from when it was all dark rooms and chemicals. But um, the way to remember it is burning is if you burn a piece of paper, it goes dark. Yeah, it goes black. So that makes things darker. So dodging, strange word, but, but what you used to do and it makes a picture lighter. So you can find it if you go to the toolbar down here under the erase brush there where it says dodge brush. If you right click on that you could also show any one of these whichever was used last. So let's start with the burn brush. If I go over the picture you can see I've got quite a hard circle here. You can see this is a preview. It shows you what would happen if I click here. I want to make that much softer. So I'll turn the hardness right down on this. And the opacity, usually keep this quite low as well. So I'll go down to about 20%. And we'll start off then. If we go up here, oh, these things up here are important. Protect you, I often keep on, because that means keep the colour, otherwise the colour might change as you paint. And the ranger, this is important, because it doesn't darken or lighten the whole picture, just the ranges. So if I click on this, I'm going to start with shadows, so it's darkening the shadows. So if I go down to the bottom here, a common thing to do is to give a little bit of darkening at the bottom. Then I'm going to do a little bit of darkening up here, just let that... I'm using left and right square bracket to change the size of the brush. So I get a layer of darkening down here, and see with a lower opacity, just multiple painting makes that darker. But I like a lighter layer in here, so let's go to right click there, dodge brush. And as I move about I can see the preview here. That's about right as well because it's around about 20%. You can see a little bit of change, so when I paint it's going to do that. And this is on highlights, which is what I want. I can even paint over the grasses there, and it looks like the sun's shining on it now. So what else can we do? Let's go up to the clouds and make make the light areas of the clouds lighter. Just put a little bit across there. Then we'll darken. Because a lot of what you do is alternating light and dark. We'll go to the midtones. Midtones there of the clouds. So just darken the middle so there's not much in the way of real shadows in the clouds. But we can just make that bit of more contrasty. There we go. Now let's go up to the this water tower here. And we're on the burn on the midtones. Let's see what this does to make this a little bit rounder, make this a bit darker there. No, I think we need shadows. So turn that down a bit there, just paint a little bit there to make that a little bit darker. And then right click here, the dodge brush, and highlights is fine. So we'll make this, just put a paint a little bit there to make that a little bit lighter, That's that'll do. And maybe just mid-tones, just to this bit here, give it a little bit more curvature. What we can do as well is if we go to this bit here, I'll make the brush bigger. I'm just going to do single clicks here. One single click, and each click see, makes it a little bit lighter. So I go click a number of times there, just gradually making it lighter. There we go. Now we're going to control zoom back out again. And I'm going to paint down here. So I'm going to go to the burn brush, make this somewhat smaller, and I'll make this darker. So I'll take the opacity up a little bit. Uh, make that up to uh, around about 50% so you can see it straight away. We're darkening the shadows. So if I click on the top there and then shift click on the bottom, watch what happens to the whole pole. See that goes darker there, so I'm making contrast in there. And let's do the opposite to the light areas. Take the dodge brush and change that to highlights. Click at the top and shift click at the bottom. You can see the way that lightens that pole up there. Maybe it's a bit too much. I'll do Control Z 
to undo it the way you do this and take that back down again. So now about 20%. So click and shift click there. There, it's not so exaggerated, is it? Here you go, that'll do. Okay, so there you go. So dodge and burn, it's just about lightning and darkening. There are other ways to do this, but when you're starting out, or if you just want to do something quickly, this is destructive. It means you've got a control Z to undo it, but it's a useful way to lighten and darken. So if I control zero, there's the final picture. So what we'll do is just go to the history and drag that down. That's where we started. And that's the end. That's the started and that's the end. See, we've subtly changed the light and dark within the picture. Okay, there we go. And thank you very much for watching.